taking a walk over to oh look at who's here to there he is here to see us hey Saki and there's uh I don't know how well you can see it but uh the moon and more importantly there's the finger pointing to the moon come on so I just uh I'm do a little meditation out here where uh our construction was today was uh digging a few holes in the ground yeah you're coming over and just kind of put all this stuff around it to you know maybe help ensure that nobody falls in the holes but given the time of year and the fact that we have hey buddy and the fact that we have all this safety stuff around it which is not the safest it could possibly be, but it's out here. You checking out the hole too? Yeah, come on. How you doing? So, all this kind of stuff is out here to help keep anybody from sort of falling in, like the camera's doing. And I just thought that I would lay here, you know, between the two holes on either side and we have a you know, kitty joining us on hopping aboard for a little where there he is hey buddy yeah it's a good idea for meditation huh so we're sitting here laying here between the two holes kind of surrounded by all the construction detritus which is all there about worry. Which is all spleen energy. Which is all the color of my mala. Which is all related to this time of year. Sort of a late warm summer. And it's also related to earth. And so I'm laying here on the earth. Right? So just kind of laying down on the earth. And you always know, have this sense of real solidity laying on the earth but I'm hyper aware of just the hole on either side of my hip and shoulder <coughs> and Saki is aware of it too but he's choosing to sit here and have a little trancing meditation with me so the earth the spleen energy sort of overworked depleting the Plain chi is worry, sort of over pensiveness. So I'm here laying on the earth, very aware of the lack of the earth on either side of me, even though I can feel it beneath me. And it's dusk. Not a highly notable change of color in this guy yet. <coughs> but the, um, the energy of the of the spleen sort of in that unhealthy way is worry you know that hyperpensiveness but the the um, healthy version is is openness and so we're trying to see if we can tune into that openness and I uh, I'm just gonna place my palm on my spleen as well. I can't reach it too well with Saki there. So I'm just going to see if I can <coughs> breathe in to the chi, feel into the chi of the spleen or the earth. And to do that, I'm going to access a sense of openness and not pensiveness. So it's a, an idea of Embracing the unknown without needing to know it, without needing to plan. So with the left hand on the spleen, I'm going to see if I can invite my breath to the area that my hand is. Which is just by Mr. Saki as well. He's actually doing a little massage near my spleen. And so I'm aware of the holes in the ground 
and all of the impossibility of worrying, of falling in it, and the energy of worrying that led to putting the cones out, and the, all the sort of safety thoughts at the end of our workday, um, precariously teetering here on the side of each hole, and either Saki or I could tumble in. But I'm feeling the earth that is beneath me, <coughs> and its openness. It's constant openness to receiving the earth that doesn't worry. And so my in-breaths, I'm trying to invite into the area of the spleen. And that hand on my spleen, that open palm, just in the lower quadrant with your left hand where it reaches the left side. You don't have to be specific or a doctor. Just in that area, the left side of your belly, when you reach with your left hand and don't cross your center. Uh, so I'm inviting the breath that I take in to that area. That's it. When I'm not sure what else to do or I get lost or distracted, I just kind of return to feeling into the earth. In this case, I'm laying on it. The earth is receiving my warmth. I'm already starting to shiver. Whatever the temperature is, it's enough to make me shiver. <coughs> but I'm inhaling, inviting the breath into the general vicinity of the spleen. If you'd like, when you exhale, you can focus on exhaling the associated energies of an overworked spleen. So the pensiveness or worry, maybe anxiety. And the spleen is about processing. It's not just processing in the sense of the alimentary canal, but it's processing experience. And so the openness is that sort of healthy place of processing experience. But anxiety, worry, pensiveness, overthinking is an unhealthy processing, an attempt to over-process a sort of process that's failed or failing and so as I exhale I can I can visualize exhaling my over pensiveness I don't, know. <coughs> I don't know if you can see on the camera but I'm shivering enough that I feel like I'm probably shaking it but it's like he's maintaining his massage position and he's hey buddy He's sitting here over the same two holes in the earth. And he is definitely not overthinking anything. <coughs> so inhale. My teacher taught versions of this where we'd inhale a color like this, a summer yellow. So it may help in a spleen meditation to visualize that color, have that color in front of you, looking at art or a wall with that color, or ideally vegetation, or the earth, it's that color. So inhaling, we're not directing the energy to the spleen, we're just inviting it there. We're finding a sense of ourself there, the weight of the hand, the sense of our intention there, and then inviting and welcoming energy there, the breath there. There's no demand, there's no expectation. Okay, and so this is Steve signing off from a place between two holes in the ground. This 
and the bats begin to fly overhead. And so, thank you for joining us here.